Good afternoon, kids. I might be posting this in the morning. I'm not sure. So I am actually uh, using a, a blank sheet of my planner here that I didn't uh, didn't get to as my background because I wanted to post. Um, I am a very, very, very pale person. I think we can agree. All right. So I, I have a lot of time, hard time, just like everybody, you know, um, if you're more mid-toned, I think you have a lot more options. And if you're more toward the edges, if you're super light-toned or super deep-toned, ah, the makeup world is so much fun, okay? But I have a hard time finding what one would call a nude, a nude lipstick, all right? usually turns either bright red, bright pink, or brown on me. All right, so if you're of the more fair persuasion, and also I have um, cool pink undertone, so really the trick is to know your undertone more than anything, more than what your, your uh, you know, deepness of your skin is, but go for the undertone. So I wanted to post two of my absolute favorites. Um, one I actually just recently found, and one I've been using for about a year, I think, uh, about a year. This one is Maybelline. Now I have, so I'm I'm a bougie broad. You know what I mean? I like I like my fancy stuff, I really do. But um, I, I I love a deal. I absolutely love a deal. So this is that Maybelline One for All lipstick, and I don't know if you can see how well loved this thing is. All right, I've had this for about a year, I would say ish somewhere in there and this is the one that works on all skin tones this is how loved this thing is okay it's it's got all the the purse goo on it and the a lot of times i carry my makeup and my keys and stuff in my my bra so it's got you know i mean this is it is you know destroyed and look and i wear this all the time goes with pretty much every makeup because i do some wild eye makeup i don't really do typically do wild um uh, lip makeup, but I do wild eye makeup, and this thing just deals with it. You know, this thing really, really, really deals with it. And I'm down here in Little Rock, Arkansas. And we have some terrible heat, and it it's it lives through that. So I got to tell you, it's supposed to work on all skin tones. I can only speak for the skin tone I have, which is extremely light with a pink pink blue undertone. It works perfectly and it stays on pretty well too. I have one of those eyes that eye makeup will stay on me all day with no primer, but I have one of those mouths where lipstick just disappears. It just, my lips just eat it. It's just gone. I love the girls that it can stay on all day. I am never, ever, ever going to be one of those. So here's the best part about this. I got this at Target for $4.99. $4.99. I think with taxes, it came to like $5.50, $4.99, okay? And I have Chanel, I have Givenchy, I have Dior, I have all those lipsticks, and as you, I just wanted to show you, look, ah, as I, see, you can't kill it. Look at how well loved this one is, okay? This is um the mauve, I think it's the mauve for all. I do have the red for all. I, I typically don't wear red, but they do have a nice blue casted red. Um, uh, I think they were, they were ruby, they have, they have a more orange warm tone red and they have a more blue toned red. And, um, yeah, so I, I can't, I honestly, I'm not, I am not a drugstore makeup kind of chick. I'm really not. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I just, I'm old and I have to use the, the, the higher end stuff cause it looks better on, on my, uh, on my oldness. I can't say enough good about this. I really can't. Okay, so that is one of them, okay? And it, it comes out on me, it comes out to like a, a nudie, pinky kind of color, all right? So check out the Maybelline for all. It really, it, for five bucks, in worst case, you can return it. Almost all the drugstores now, you can return stuff. Um, there's another one. I was I was watching a, a, a beauty blogger, and this is, I've actually only had this for about two weeks. Essence. Essence is one of the, um, I know it's an Ulta and it's not in Sephora. It's an Ulta. Um, and I know it's in a lot of the drugstores. I, I don't know, you know, I, I'm sure it's in a, um, oh my God, am I having a, a Jaclyn Hill moment? I have some, I have a little, I have a little thing on my lipstick. I don't know. I'm having a Jaclyn Hill moment. I'm having some crap on, on my lipstick. I'm having some dirty hairs. Okay. 
If you don't know that joke, look it up. It's funny. It, you'll, you'll crack up laughing after I tell you. Um, she was a YouTube beauty blogger that got uh, uh, stuff all over her makeup and then sold it. Anyway, so um, this is from Essence. And they have, I'm telling you, I can't find a nude. I want to do the big smoky eye and a nude lip. And I, and I end up doing a big smoky eye and a pink lip. And it looks dumb. Okay. Essence. Okay. Uh, this This is a little newer, as you can see. This hasn't ridden around in my bra too long. The brand, okay, or, or the or the line of products is called This Is Nude. So they have a whole line of them, and this is number two called Happy. I think it's one through six, if I'm correct. Let's say it's made in Frankfurt. Frankfurt. Frankfurt in New York. Okay, all right. So this is a German and uh, American brand. Okay, so they have a whole line. Now, I had to, because they're the way that they're... Um, display is it's a little confusing so I had to go just kind of dig around and then you'll see like I think it's six lipsticks and they're in this really plain I mean it's just plain packaging it doesn't feel like luxury packaging it feels like drugstore lipstick packaging but who cares because you know um and the whole line of products is this is nude they have from brownie nude to ready nude Okay, not even joking. They have one that's a nude with a bit of red in it, and they have one with a bit of pink in it, and they have... So they're all nudes, variations on nude, and you'd have to pick which one is obviously best for your skin tone. This works out perfect for me. It actually is a little pink, but it's good because if I wear too much of a nude, I look like a dead person. Um, or I should just say dead because I, I am a person. But yeah, again, can't say enough good about this. I've left this in my car. This has ridden around in my bra. This has survived many, many, many tumbles. Um, and it hasn't cracked. It hasn't sweated. It hasn't done anything. And this, these both last pretty good. Do they last through a meal? No. But the way I eat, I don't think anything would last through me. I can't even, those 24 hour lip stays where you put the, the primer on and then the topper don't even last for me. So, so, you know, these last pretty good. This one, actually, I got to tell you something, you got to put a light touch on this because I put this on heavy. I just went, shoo, 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 you know, and out the door and I looked in my rear view mirror and I looked a little bit like the Joker. So, um, light hand on this one. Don't not, don't go heavy handed. This one, this one, I've done a light hand and I've done a heavy hand with, and it, you know, depending on the intensity you want to get. This one really pigmented. Okay, um, I would I would put this on and blot it, and then check when you get outside also, because it's it's pretty good. Uh, and here's the other part. Okay, this was four ninety nine at Target. This one I got at Ulta. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine, and I pretty much oh, one day I might do show you guys my bathroom because it looks like a Sephora. I have every lipstick ever, 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 and that's why that's why I'm kind of doing this video today. These two, the uh, five ninety or four ninety nine, and the three ninety nine, killing it. I I literally <laughs> I went back to get other ones. And I am just not a lipstick girl. I am an eyeshadow girl. I have every eyeshadow palette ever. And uh, these two lipsticks have absolutely blown me away. So if you want a cheap, good lipstick, I'm a picky bitch. And these two have absolutely blown me away. So it's the Maybelline for All line. And I don't know how long they're going to carry it because I've actually seen in a couple of the Walmarts down here, they don't have it. And please, please ignore it, like the, how beat up this packaging is. Please, just that's that's a lot of purse rides. That's a lot of uh, car cup holder sittings for that one, okay? Um, it, it, you know, the package, the packaging is actually nice on it, not, not when I'm uh, destroying it. Uh, so... Yeah, some some of the stores I've been to, some of the the WalMarts I've been to, they don't always carry the. I think it's color for all. So there's plum for all, mauve for all, red for all. I think spice for all. That's more of a of a reddish coppery tone. So if you, if you have a more caramel toned skin, um, or even if you just tan, that one would be perfect, especially for autumn. Yeah, okay. Um, and the Essence one, the Essence, if you are in an Ulta, you have to search for it because the display is very thin. It's very skinny. I hope they expand. I remember back in the day when NYX started and NYX was just an end cap 
and now it, they got a whole aisle. So hopefully Essence is like that. Uh, but yeah, go and check it out. Super cheap lipsticks. You cannot go wrong. You can actually get both for under ten dollars. Um, you know, just just try and find one that's good for your skin tone, your shade. Figure out your undertone if you want. I can do a video on that on figuring out the best colors for you. Um, yeah, so check those out. So thanks for coming to Makeup Monday. I appreciate you guys hanging out here for Makeup Monday, and don't forget to hit all those like subscribe buttons because I'll tell you what the the week the week that I told you guys to do hit the like subscribe share comment uh, had a lot a lot more views so it is working so if you guys can keep that up even if you've hit and uh, you hit and uh, hit even if you've hit the like the heart the subscribe the 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 bell icon all those things um, even if you've done it before keep doing it you can leave a little comment, even if you leave a heart or, uh, you know, maybe, maybe let's get a discussion going right down at the bottom. What your favorite lipstick is, I, you know, it could be the super, super, uh, you know, fancy ones, or it could be the super cheap ones. You know, um, I remember when, when NYX was just, God, they would just come out with, I think it was like, oh my God, 90, early nineties. They would come out with the, uh, like Halloween makeup. I remember getting Nick's like black lipstick for, for Halloween and stocking up for the year. <laughs> so, you know, so uh, write down some of your favorite finds that could be more drugstore, could be more grocery store, uh, or it could be fancy. It doesn't matter. Um, but I think these two brands will work with almost everybody and with every budget. That's the best part. So, uh, you know, right, you know, subscribe, click. I'm going to post this video on, uh, YouTube also, and I'm going to do a little cute little, uh, Instagram shout out. So don't forget to hit those buttons because a lot of people that would not have normally, you know, got to see me now get to, right. And, uh, stay tuned for weirdo, weirdo Wednesday. I did not get to do it last week. I was off. I was off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I wanted to post, but, um, I have a lot of awesome uh, stuff this Wednesday I'm going to show you. I was actually, I made about 600 candles. So yeah, I think it was 600, 600, 625, something like that candles um, last week. So I get, I can, I have a lot of good stuff, new goodies I can show you and it will be Halloween. It'll be uh, like the day, day before. And uh, we can do some fun stuff on Weirdo Wednesdays and always free reading Friday. So don't forget to check back in. So thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate you having Makeup Review Monday with me, and uh, have a good week.